All right, so today I want to talk about an interesting topic uh, that I used a couple of times uh, in the very beginning uh, and uh, just actually completed a transaction uh, here this week, uh, and that is around the topic of owner financing. Uh, it's a topic that uh, sometimes is sort of discussed and sort of thought of as this unicorn that just never really happens. Uh, but having done several of these and thinking about doing more of them, I thought I would share my thoughts. So we're going to go ahead and go through sort of what it is, why it, uh, why it can be a good option for both parties, the seller and the buyer. Uh, we're actually going to review the deal uh, that just closed this week just so we can sort of you know bring it uh, full circle and really talk about what, uh, what was done. I'll share the plan for the property uh, and then talk about what uh, what about I'm thinking about doing next. So seller had uh, had a house in a good neighborhood uh, that needed uh, needed work. I think I say later it needed probably 20 or 25 grand in, in make ready. It's been well lived in. Um, nothing major, just just you know it's it's been lived in hard for for well over 10 years, uh, pretty clearly. Um, it's rented below market. And um, the seller, she just didn't want to uh, didn't want to deal with it anymore, right? She's uh, she's getting up there in age, lives uh, at least an hour away, and um, you know she's uh, she's had enough. Uh, and then lastly, there in parentheses, she uh, she owned the property free and clear, which means no mortgage or no debt on it. Uh, she did indicate while well, during discussions that she needed um, five hundred dollars a month. That's sort of what the house was giving her, and, and she relied on that. Uh, when we talked about it, she was, you know, sort of thinking that she would need this for for ten to fifteen years, um, just given her health and what uh, what she was thinking. Uh, again, sort of hit this earlier. I think the the repairs are twenty and if not twenty five k. Um, after repair value is uh, is a you know plus or minus one hundred and fifty k, you know one thirty nine, one fifty five, something like that. Um, but um, you know, again, that's those those are our numbers. Uh, the rent, uh, I said it was under market. It's, it's quite a bit under market, right? It's, it's, uh, it's again, it's a, it's a decent house in a nice narrow neighborhood, going for seven fifty. I think it should rent for a thousand all day long. Uh, and if we got in there and repaired it, uh, could could get eleven, eleven fifty pretty easily. So this is what I did. Um, we actually put together an offer of ninety five thousand um, dollars. Put five thousand dollars down. And then because she needed $500 a month for 15 years, um, that's what I offered. So if you take 15, year, or 15 years, is 180 months times 500, that's $90,000. Uh, so that's, um, you know, she gets everything that she wanted and needed. Uh, the other thing I added in there um, that she didn't ask for, but I thought, again, being, you know, the honest person, good karma, all that stuff, is I added a, a prepayment pre penalty of uh, $10,000. So for whatever reason I needed to sell it, um, she would get uh, not only the remainder of the loan uh, or the financing, but she would also get an additional 10 k if I decided to sell that within uh, within 10 years. Again, it's, it's about doing the right thing for the people you, uh, you work with. So the plan, obviously, um, this is not going to be a, a flip for me. Uh, it's got a decent size, you know, 10% prepayment penalty. Uh, it's going to be a nice long-term rental for someone, and given the, the package I put together, why wouldn't that someone just be me? So congratulations, I own another rental property. Um, the other thing I will likely do, uh, just given how I structured the transaction, no interest, all that, is I'm thinking about just cutting a $6,000 check every January 1st of every year just to get the payments out of the way. Again, 500 times 12 is 66,000. So probably we'll do that, maybe not, but that's something I'm thinking about. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to once I own it, gonna go in and do all the things that we would make, basically do. Make sure all this, the, you know, there's some flooring issues we need to tackle right away. Also, um, supply a rent raise and see where we go from there. The tenant um, has a lot of stuff. Right, the house has been well lived in, but um, near as I can tell, you know. One worth keeping if if they can pay the, the higher rent. That said, I'm not sure they're going to be able to. Um, although if they want to stay in that neighborhood, uh, their their options might be might be limited. Uh, but if I had to guess, we may have a new tenant in 60 to 90 days. So what's next? Uh, the other thing I learned during this um, I don't know negotiation discussion, whatever you want to call it, is uh, this seller actually has another house, uh, owned free and clear, 
Um, so we'll likely have that discussion about that once this is done and, and see where we go from there. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is um, I think there's a real niche out there. I think I need to find a way to market to potential sellers of free and clear property and, and offer up owner financing. Um, you know, if we can put together transactions where it's very small down payment, I can cash flow it um, after payments. Why not, right? So uh, it's something I'm thinking about doing. So in the end, owner financing is something that's out there. It does happen. Uh, the situation has to be right. Um, you can see this was just an example. Um, do me a favor. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please leave a comment or question below. And as always, if you share the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. We uh, are currently at 102 subscribers, slowly inching our way to my goal of 1,000. All right, everybody. Have a nice day.